Welcome back to the channel by you. This is Cassandra and it is Halloween. That's why I'm dressed up all spooky tonight. And I want to let you know that we are in one of the coolest places around Houston for Halloween. We are actually at Green Bear Girl's house. We have a couple kids with us, so we thought we would use them as the opportunity to come stop by and say hi. And later what we're going to be doing is she gave, of course, the kids treat bags that she's giving out cotton candy, all kinds of things like that. And later in this video, we're gonna open up the bags with the kids and see what all they got. And guys, right there is Graveyard Girl. And you can see there's a whole bunch of you guys in line. And she's over there, she's making cotton candy. And these are all the cool things she has set up for Halloween in her yard. It looks amazing. Kind of walk around and show you. Oh, there's a creepy little pumpkin on the ground. And more creepy out here. Oh, it's like a headless horseman. He's having a bad day though. It's Halloween, he's been out riding a lot. But now you can see like the full event going on right now. And we'll see if we can get up a little close. But you can see, right there is Bunny. So we will get to doing like an unboxing, which I thought would be completely appropriate for spooky Halloween in a little bit. Hi guys, okay, so it is really late, so I'm not gonna make any apologies for my makeup or anything, because we have been out trick-or-treating this entire night, and it's been a lot of fun and been a lot of crazy, and as you know from the beginning of this video, we went to Graveyard Girl's house. Um, she also goes by the name Bunny, and we went to her house to go trick-or-treat and check out everything. And so I thought, I know this is really different from a lot of my stuff I do on my channel, but her channel she likes to do a lot of unboxing and things like that and I thought it'd be kind of fun to do a crossover and go from all the spooky stuff and take a break from that for a little bit and do an unboxing of the cool things that we got from her street trick-or-treating and also from her house so we'll first we'll do all the candy and everything I have a daughter who is nine years old and she was a like a really cute little kitten this Halloween. I know that helps a lot because uh, if you have teenagers, they might not have gotten so much stuff. I know a lot of people here, at least in the United States, don't really like to give out a lot of candy to the teenagers. But let's go through my daughter's haul. And this was probably, including Bunny's house, this was about two hours. Hold a lot more stuff. So she has about that much in the pillowcase. And let's see what she got. And this, again, was all from around Bunny Street and everything like that. We probably walked, wow, I don't even know how many blocks. But she got, like, I haven't seen those before. Have you guys seen those? Little pretzels. Those are really cute. Look at those little pretzels. I like the little haunted house and everything on them. A glow stick. She actually had to answer with the teacher. She actually had to answer um, a Halloween mathematical riddle to get her glow stick. Um, and then we have regular things like little packs of M&Ms that she got. Uh, her favorite, which are Twix. So she got some Twix. Um, a whole thing of... Oh, this was for solving a riddle too. Um, let me see if I can open this up. But Trolley Sour Bright Crawlers Minis. And let's see, a whole huge pack of gobstoppers. You can see that there too. Um, some more Twix, Snickers, some Kit Kats, some Reese's, some Sour Patch. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. Like a little Halloween pin. Can you see that? She got like this little Halloween pin. And she said she didn't really get like a lot of toys. Let's see, some more M&M's. A Heath bar, wow, I haven't seen one of those in a long time. 
but I guess there's still some for Halloween. So, ah, uh, there we go. A Heath bar. What is this? Oh, cool. Rice Krispie Treats. So I don't know if you can see that. Love the little Jack the Lantern. Oh, sorry, guys. I am a huge Winnie the Pooh fan. Especially, like, well, not not all the time Winnie the Pooh, but the Heffalump Halloween is my favorite non-scary Halloween movie, I guess you could say. Um, let's see. Some more Kit Kats. A couple things of, like, three things of Whoppers candies. So this is kind of the the haul for a Halloween trick or treat um, in the United States, and of course, oops, she already got into one. But it's okay, don't worry. She already ate her almond joy. You can see, but it's okay that she ate her almond joy because we did go through all of her candy and make sure it was all safe. Now, <laughs> funny story, actually, kind of a spooky story, I guess you could say. There's always been this rumor that there are, there's this, you know, there are bad people out there and they're going to put um, razor blades or poison your candy or do all these horrible things to you. Actually, the Candyman, which he was called, um, a different Candyman than Dean Coral, the serial killer that I've done a lot of videos on, but a different Candyman, um, he lived in this area and he actually poisoned his own kids with candy so as far as the you might find a razor blade out there in your kids candy or all that I remember oh I'm gonna date myself here okay I remember when as kids we would go trick-or-treating and when you were done trick-or-treating at the end of the night you would take your candy to the hospitals and they had some kind of scan that they would do with our candy to make sure there were no razor blades in it and I think I'm not gonna say when but I think that's about the time that um, unfortunately that man poisoned his own uh, child yeah we still the, do go through everything that she gets and make sure you know that that there's like poofy air in them so that it's not losing any air that the wrappers aren't haven't been unwrapped you know that they're not torn in any way like you can see you know this isn't torn it still holds air there's no rips or tears or anything like that around the edges of it you know, so we still do that, but it's kind of crazy. I, I think that pretty much most Americans do that because of that old story about the Candyman. But in reality, uh, from what I understand, anyway, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below. But from what I understand, that's never really happened. Uh, okay, so now we got rid of all this candy and everything like that. And let's see... Let's do the unboxing for what my daughter got at uh, Graveyard Girl's house. Now, we went up and it was really cool. And first of all, I have to say, I went up, I met her, I asked, of course, before I started filming if I could film around her yard a little bit and her setup. And she was so sweet and so appreciative that I asked. So, Graveyard Girl, thank you so much for being so awesome and so wonderful. And just, guys, she really is like one of the sweetest people I've ever met. She is so nice and so generous to put this on for the kids. Um, so we really appreciate you and I just want to let you know that. And uh, my daughter and her friend had a great time. They got cotton candy there and it was like a really spooky yard. You guys saw in the clip that I showed you before that there was a whole bunch of like that inflatable things everywhere. Um, it was pretty neat. But this is the bag that my daughter got. And you could see a little chicken poking out right there. And the treat sack. And I'll turn it around for you. And so we will kind of dissect it and do the whole unwrapping thing. First of all, is this little chicken? Look at the little guy. Isn't he so cute? It's like a little plushy stuffed animal. He's so adorable. I know my daughter's gonna love him. In fact, I'm so tired and I'm sorry, I look so bad um, and my makeup's kind of crazy. Except for, sorry, except for the Jeffree Star eyeshadow. That stays on point, I tell you. I love it. But other than that, the rest of my makeup looks crazy because it is probably like one in the morning or something. But my daughter was so excited about this little bag that, and I told her that I want to do a cute video on it for like an unwrapping kind of thing, a boxing type thing. And she really, really wanted to get into this. And I told her that she had to stay out until morning. So 
I just got voted one of the worst moms in the world, but at least I didn't pretend I ate her candy. Um, you ruined my whole day! Um, but I will give it to her in the morning and let her open everything. There were like two pencils in here. Can you see them? Look, there's like one of little ghosts. A purple berry punch ring pop. So, which is super cool. I know all the kids love the, the ring pops because they're always fun. Uh, parents not so much because they're sticky and crazy mess everywhere. Okay, and I am not going to demonstrate this, but she also got a little yo-yo. Look how cute that is. It's adorable. It's like a barbed wire bracelet. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see the barbed wires on it? It's kind of cool, kind of spooky. So I'm sure she'll probably wear that to school tomorrow. And then the cutest little eraser, which I know because my daughter's nine that she loves, loves, loves little erasers and like pencils and things like that that she can take at school. Little itty bitty bat ring that's black. And a little itty bitty like green one. Look how cute that is. Oh, and vampire whistle. So basically the kids just put this in their mouth and then they blow through here at this part and it makes just like a loud whistle noise. I'm not going to demonstrate that really, but it's really cute. And in case you don't want them blowing a whistle, but they want to have their vampire fangs on, she got a set of vampire fangs and a little bouncy ball, which balls are always awesome. Okay, and it looks like then there's some more can there's some candy in here. We got like two lifesaver gummies. I hope you guys can see those. That's what they are. Lifesaver gummy rings. Those are always getting popular. Oh, I've never seen these before. A Snickers crisper. Snickers crisper. So let's see, an original and a fave reds. So she got two Starbursts in here. And a Three Musketeer, like a really, really wide range of like candy that Bunny put in these things. I think it's so neat that she spends so much time like with the kids and everything like that as far as putting these together. Now this is completely cool. Um, I'm not quite sure what's in it. It's like one of those mystery boxes. And if you can see it, it says Hotel Transylvania. I hope you can see it right there, Hotel Transylvania. And don't tell on me, but we're going to open it real quick because my daughter won't know. So poof, by the magic of the TV power and editing, I look completely different and I'm dressed completely different. And I know we were right in the middle of talking about this really cute box um, that Bunny gave out for uh, Halloween, this little Hotel Transylvania mystery box, but I was actually editing this video and it was right at that point that my camera froze, which is really weird because this is a brand new camera. I'm not quite sure why it froze at the end of the video, but let's go ahead and get back into this because we are just getting to the best part of the treat bag that uh, my daughter got. So here is the little box. Now, the bad news with this is I did, after that video, I let my daughter open everything, so I have seen everything, so I apologize. I made sure that my daughter didn't lose any of the pieces or anything like that, because it was just the next day when I found out that we were missing things, and so we have everything here. So when you get this little box, it also comes with an itty bitty little key. There you go, it comes with a little bit of key. And you take this key and you put it in the lock, and it doesn't actually turn or anything, but it does pop the lock open. Of course, the first thing you're gonna grab, first thing I would always grab, of course, is this little itty bitty guy. And then you also get this huge, huge list of all the different toys that you can get in these boxes. So kinda neat. Of course, now my daughter wants all of them. So, yeah, all of them. There's a lot of them there. And then also in her bag, she got a little pair of, you can see, vampire fangs. The bottom of the bag had a super cool little purple bat inflatable. And you can see, you just blow it up right here. And it's just a little baby bat, and it's got a place for you to, add, to tie a string, and you can hang it up for with your Halloween decorations. 
super cute. So I want to say thanks again to Bunny because this was an awesome Halloween. My daughter had a great time at your party um, and I do have to return all these toys now to her uh, because she is very excited about all of them. Uh, she just let me borrow them when I found out that my camera froze. She let me borrow them so I could uh, record all this for you guys. And if you have been with my channel for a while, guys, I do want to know what do you think of videos like this? I mean, it's kind of Halloween spooky related, but it's not all the spirit box stuff. So if you like this video, let me know in the comments below and tell me what you think or maybe I could do better or maybe we shouldn't be doing all these and, and I could do a different channel maybe with some other spooky paranormal stuff. But I'm not going to stop doing all the cool paranormal spirit box things. And also, I have not forgotten about the Ted Bundy video and the interview with the court reporter in the very secret proceeding that has never been talked about on TV before and is not in any documentary. You won't find it anywhere. Up until now, no one who was in this secret court proceeding in Colorado has ever spoken about what went on that night in the court. It's going to be coming out soon. So if you haven't hit that like and subscribe button, please do that now because that video will be out here, I'm hoping, in the next week or so. So I'm excited to see it too and excited to hear everything about it and I will definitely be finishing the Ted Bundy series. I uh, hope y'all are doing well. Love y'all and I'm sorry I was gone for a while. Missed you guys so much. Thank you for all the support you gave me uh, while I was gone and, and all that. It, that was wonderful. Um, I miss you guys too and I'm so happy to be back and I will see you in the next video very soon. Bye.